Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. So you guys, it is that time again. So this video is a forecast for the year 2022 for each life path number. So last year I created one for the year 2021 for each um, life path number. If you haven't checked that out, go and check it out, you know, just to see how things played out. Like we haven't got into 2022 yet. Like today is December 22nd, um, 2021, but it pretty much, the year is pretty much over as we know it. So it's time for us to like, you know, start setting goals and things like that and get ourselves moving forward into the new year and you know manifest these goals and create the kind of experience that we want like live life according to our own terms and i find that you know alchemy alchemy is you know basically learning how to make the energies that are present work for us understanding the seasons and knowing what seeds to plant and basically, you know, manipulating energy and getting what you want from it. Like what's coming to mind when I say that is I remember watching a commercial about a movie and basically the lady in the movie said magic is when you manipulate chaos. And if you don't, it'll break your hand or hurt you or whatever. It was just a quick clip. But like, yes, basically this is us understanding the chaotic energy of the universe and learning how to make it work for us. So I am ready to go into each life path number. I will put timestamps in the description box for you guys. And I'm not going to give a general for 2022 because I've already made a separate video on that. So if you haven't gotten a chance to check out the separate video for the year 2022, check that out. I'm going to link it in the description box below. And I'm also going to link in the description box below the video from last year. I say last year and it feels weird because we're still in 2021. But by the time most people are watching this, you know, it's going to be 2022 already. So I'm going to link in the description box, the 2021 forecast, just so you guys could rewatch that and just like, you know, see how things played out. So for the life path, number one, when it comes to the year 2022. So for the year 2022, I encourage you guys to basically learn how to let other people help you because the year 2022 adds up and reduced to the number six vibration and it is a year of family community relationship responsibility and all of that so this is where you will find that there will be a lot of opportunity to engage and connect with other people you know people that you care about friends family associates different things like that and the number one energy is one that tends to have a lot of great ideas i bet in the year 2021 like you went from one extreme to the next when it came to the ideas that you've had that you had and you probably started out 2021 one way and it is ending completely opposite from how it started out and from 2021 you know being a five year if your foundation was weak the energies in 2021 broke that down destroyed it so you're moving into 2022 somewhat rebuilding some things that fell apart you know some things fell apart and you're rebuilding or restructuring or coming up with a whole new foundation as far as how to set things up and what comes to mind is like a storm you know after a storm everything is leveled 
everything is all over the place, but then the community comes together and builds back better. So basically 2022 is an opportunity where you will have support to take care of everything that you need if you're willing to allow others to help you. A lot of the times we avoid support and try to do things all by ourselves because we want the credit. I'm not saying that's the case for all of you, but you know, a lot of the times people want to do everything themselves and be in control of every single detail for the sake of saying that I did it all by myself. When you don't have to, this is a great opportunity for collaboration in the sense that we can't do it all by ourselves. And the sooner that we learn that we can't do it all by the, ourselves, the better things will be for us. So for the year 2022, you know, this is an opportunity where say, for example, you're an actor and you know someone who has a camera who's looking for an actor and someone else who is a writer and basically you guys all come together with your with what you bring to the table and put it together and make something amazing. This is the year where you are able to take part in something amazing with other people. So don't sleep on the idea of, you know, connecting, networking and collaborating and putting your ideas with other people. You have a lot of great ideas and this is a year to, you know, start um, strategic, start being strategic, start thinking of ways how you can put these ideas into motion because 2022, all the numbers in 2022 are all twos. So with all those twos, this is that nurturing, mothering energy. And you might experience so much of it around you to where it feels overwhelming, getting all that energy come to you at once. But that nurturing energy is one that will help you to put your ideas in motion. 2022 is a great year for you to learn how to nurture yourself. Because a conversation that I was having earlier with someone where I was asking that person, how do you nurture? nurture yourself. And that person couldn't answer, which I know they couldn't because most of us um, think that nurturing is going to the barbershop, getting our hair done, getting our nails done, when in fact, that's just hygiene and grooming, you know, where nurturing is what nurtures our soul. How do we like, you know, rejuvenate ourselves, re-energize ourselves, make ourselves feel good. This year will teach you how to nurture yourself. Also too, with the number one energy being extroverted and action oriented energy, the year 2022 might be one that feels challenging at times in the sense that you might not feel, it's almost like feeling like like you're walking in water, in water, in the sense that you're not able to move as fast as you can because all that two energy, emotional energy, nurturing energy, and six community responsibility, maybe all the responsibility is stopping you from moving the way you would like or having time to yourself the way you would like. And also too, with the number one being such a dominant and direct and forceful energy, you know, when it comes to sharing your truth, you will find sooner than later this year that it's like people are a lot more sensitive than normal and find that even you yourself is a lot more sensitive than normal. So this is where it's important to not take anything personal. Speak your truth. Always speak your truth. Know that nothing is personal, but at the same time, you know, express yourself in a way that you're speaking your truth, but at the same time, empathically communicating putting yourself in the shoes of the other person that you're communicating with so that basically, you know, not only are you heard, but you're received well. But at the same time, we don't like we have control over what we say, but not what the other person hears. So again, speak your truth, continue to speak your truth. And, you know, use this as a year to get your ideas in motion. Pick one of those great ideas that you have and spend the year building on it. Pick the one idea that basically embodies all the ideas that you have. You know, pick the one goal or career choice that utilize all your greatest talents and skills and use this year to build on it because this is a year of building and basically nurturing. It's like, Say, for example, 
you know, 2021, your, I'm, I use the house example, tore down or whatever. Basically, you know, whatever happened in 2021, this is a great opportunity to recreate what really speaks to you. Because if you've lost something in 2021, that's because the foundation of it wasn't as strong as it could be in the first place. So this is an opportunity for you to recreate that thing make it stronger, make it able to withstand any storm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, group number one, if you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a red heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. So for the life path number two or those strongly associated with the number two, the year 2022 is right in your element. All you hear is two, 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 2022, all those twos. So basically in the year 2022, you will find that you are in your element in the sense that as a two person, you are someone who is nurturing, caring, loving, and the one who keeps everyone together. You know, the one that holds everyone's hands, whether they know they, they need their hand held or not, you are there to hold their hand. You are there to rub their back and encourage other people to keep moving forward. And also too, as a two, you like spending time with others. So the year 2022 is within your element in the sense that this is a year where you will find that left, right, center, there is always an opportunity for community, family, responsibility, or that is just the theme of it all. Your home, like you might find that you are doing renovations in your apartment, in your homes, or just, you know, giving it a makeover, doing something to it to make it more homey, make it more cozy, make it more comfy for yourself. So for the year 2022, and it um, adding up and reducing to the number six and the number six looking pregnant. My concerns when it comes to you guys is your ability to bite off way more than you can true when it comes to other people's problems. You know, with this year being a year of community, family, and um, responsibility relationships and things like that, you might find that like, it's like you're putting out a lot of fires, fires that have nothing to do with you. And these fires will have to do with your family. These fires will have to do with your community, your um, co-workers. And when I say fire, you know, I pray that it's no real fire. When I say fire, I'm talking about issues. All of a sudden people are having challenges. You know, maybe you're loaning someone money to pay their rent or loaning someone money to pay their mortgage, you know, helping out with home situation, family situations, and taking on way more responsibility than you need. Need to like do not burden yourself with unnecessary responsibility and I say unnecessary in the sense that yes it is detrimental and important to the person that needs help but at the same time you have to take a step back and create healthy boundaries for yourself because there is only so much you can do and it doesn't make sense when we go out of our way and try to help people who are not trying to help themselves. Because what happened when we do that is that we get in the way of an opportunity for someone to transform by, you know, go through whatever it is that they need to go through. Like my thing is that I will never put a person on the ladder, but if a person is climbing up a ladder, I will help them. Once they've gotten on the ladder, I will help them to go higher, but I will not take it up on myself to put them on the ladder. So meaning you might hear someone complaining that, you know, they don't have a job or this is their situation. It is not your responsibility or your business to go out and fill out that job application for them. You know what I'm saying? But if they go and fill out job applications for themselves and you might be able to be a good reference, then fine. But don't take the initiative to do what other people will need to do for themselves. Because if you get that energy going this year before even quarter way through the year, you will feel yourself getting burnt out because the good thing about this year for you is the fact that it's an opportunity to connect with so many people and you love you know spending time with the people who matter to you but the challenge and the downside when it comes to connecting with so many people is that it is so easy for you to see responsibility and take on burdens where when you shouldn't you know and something that a lot of us don't 
put a lot of attention into, but it is important to allow people to ask for help. You know, it is important to allow people to express themselves and say whatever it is that they need, you know, so allow people to ask for help before you jump and offer help sometimes because it's good for us to acknowledge the fact that we are being helped because it helps us to be grateful knowing that the universe answers prayers, the universe, the universe works things out for us. So allow people to ask for the help that they need. And also too, with the number two being a very emotional energy, this is a very emotional year. So it is important for you to, you know, like basically find ways to deal with your emotions, like get someone to talk to, get some therapy, you know, do whatever it is that you need to do to have better, better mental and emotional help. Because with this being such an emotional year, you being such an emotional number, it's easy for us to find ourselves escaping in ways that could be detrimental for our health when in all reality, you know, we need to just face the things that are challenging us head on so that they no longer get in our ways. Um, something that I think is great to do when it comes to the year 2022 is self-care for you guys. Like check in with yourself and ask yourself, like what is two of your favorite self-care regimens? Meaning how do you nurture yourself? And I don't wanna hear, you know, getting my hair done, getting my nails done, going to the barber. That could be true for, you know, some Taurus um, people or whatever, but I consider those things like hygiene and grooming, you know, they're kind of necessity for the most part, you know? So it's easy for us to like do things that are necessary, but what about ways that we need to nurture ourselves that isn't a necessity that tends to get overlooked. So I encourage you to figure out ways how you can nurture yourself better and go into this year, nurturing yourself, make it a habit to nurture yourself set time apart, set money apart to nurture yourself and, you know, basically enjoy life and all that life has to offer and not be so focused on rescuing and saving everybody else and being the bridge to connect this, that, or, or, or the next. Like, focus on yourself, take care of yourself. Of course, it's going to be natural that you're taking care of others too. So you're going to do that no matter what. So let me just tell you, focus on yourself and take care of yourself. Number two, if you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me an orange heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. So for the year 2022, when it comes to the life path or those strongly associated with the number three energy. So for you guys, the first thing that comes to mind when it comes to this energy is the opportunity to connect with so many people. And from that, if you're a three and you're single, you can easily find yourself coupled probably a couple times for a couple times in the year because of the opportunity to come together with so many, so many people, you know, the opportunity to network, collaborate, however you will come together with people because the number six energy, when I think about the number six energy, I think about brunches. I think about, you know, basically just getting together, whether it's on a social, social media platforms or, you know, literally getting together because the opportunity allows. And for you guys, yes, if you're single, it's an opportunity to meet a lot of different new people. And for those in relationships, you know, this could, it could either excite your relationship because it takes it to the next level, because it adds excitement into it, because you're out and you're doing things. Or for some people, it can create an end in the relationship in the sense that um, the number three is an energy that tends to find that feel that the grass is greener on the other side when the truth is the grass is green wherever we water it. So this is where like those threes who are already in committed relationships could start to feel as though like, you know, confined or restricted or whatnot. But keep in mind, number three, that is something that you will feel like 
regard that that is something you feel whenever something feels too permanent so keep in mind the grass is green where you water it it's not greener on the other side it's green wherever you pour your attention into it but yes with the opportunity to collaborate and meet new people of course your imagination will run wild and think about all the possibilities and how it would be like to be with this person that person or the next instead also to, you know, for the year 2022 and it adding up to a sixth year with you being a natural artist, creative and someone who enjoys like you guys are the big kids of numerology. You guys are, you know, creative, expressive, childlike, playful, all that good stuff. And with this being a sixth year, like this is a great, you'll enjoy the opportunities to collaborate because people will be coming to you. People will be connected to you. And like, to me as humans, like we are a currency, we are a currency and our attention, our attention is a currency. Like it's a fact, you know, on social YouTube, wherever, just us paying attention and with this being a six year for the life path or birthday strong three people you know with if you have been working on something and this is where like i get like the jupiter energy the jupiter vibe for the year 2022 for you guys when i say the jupiter energy or the jupiter vibe what i mean by that exactly is jupiter energy is one that talks about luck and opportunity coming to us where we have prepared so say for example you have been working on something for a long time you have been committed and consistently working on something this is a year where you can have you can experience recognition for the thing that you've been working on and opportunities will come to you and recognition will come to you but that's because you're prepared and you're prepared because you've had your head down and you've been working on this thing for so long so you know this is a great year for that if you've been working on things and with the fifth with the year 2021 adding up and reducing to the number five the fifth it with last year being a fifth year you know you may have experienced a lot of sudden and unexpected changes in the sense that you may have started out the year in one career and you ended the year in a totally different career so basically you know in 2022 it's almost like you're starting over again from the beginning that is fine also the beauty about the year 2022 is the supports the support that will be there for you because the community is there for you in the year 2022 the community surrounds us in the year 2022 so if you're building back you know the support is there for you so that will happen sooner than later and don't sweat the small stuff as far as the losses from 2021 or starting over doing something totally different because basically if the volatility of 2021 created turbulence and caused endings in your life obviously the foundation wasn't that strong so this is a year that basically you know you're able to go and observe where your foundation is weak and rebuild something that is stronger and keep in mind when it comes to whatever it is that you're doing you know whenever you find yourself getting bored or it get bland this is an opportunity to revamp and give new life to whatever it is that you're doing also to the year 2022 is one that is a very sensitive year where you yourself might find yourself to be way more sensitive than normal so it is important for you to have patience with yourself have patience with others when it comes to the number three and communicating the number three can be blunt at times it's almost like a child where it's like speaking the truth but at the same time even though the truth is good and in jamaica we always have this saying where we say shame the devil and speak the truth that god loves even though the truth is good <laughs> sometimes it's a you know a level of empathy needs to be in the mix so that you're expressing your truth but you are delivering it in a way that you would want to receive it if you were on the opposite end of that truth so keep in mind that when it comes to the sensitivities and the emotional aspects of the year so yeah and the last thing that i wanted to say too is with the year 2022 being a sixth year and you getting invited to different events and different 
different things like that. You know, it's important to, you know, like, like I normally would say to the number five energy set set timers or calendars or different things like that to help you manage your time so that it doesn't appear that you don't appreciate or don't respect other people's time because you might find yourself running late a lot because there is just so much different things to commit yourself to or diff so many different things to do and you don't want to spread yourself thin and <clears throat> this is an energy that has to do with commitment. And you might find that for the year 2022, you are called to commit to a lot of things. And, you know, <clears throat> it is better to say, let me think about that and get back to you than to get lost in the moment and say yes. And then, you know, we look bad because we said we, we're, we're jumping out just as fast as we're jumping in. So to avoid jumping in and out of anything, you know, give yourself at least three days to like sleep on and reflect on a situation and be honest with yourself when it comes to what is expected of you when it comes to this situation. Is this something that fits in the path that you see for yourself that you have planned out for yourself or is this thing out of nowhere and doesn't make sense for you. Be honest with yourself so you can be honest with other people and enjoy 2022. It's going to be an exciting year and you have the power to make it even more amazing. If you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a yellow heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. For the life path number four, when it comes to the year 2022. So first of all, the life path number four or birthday number four, you guys are selfless people who are always dedicating your time and your services to benefit others in whatever way that you can. Because as a number four, you know that you guys are foundation builders and the foundations that you build aren't necessarily for yourself because you're busy with your head down, always building. Everybody else gets to reap the benefit of what it is that you build. And the year 2022 is a year of community, family, responsibility. And you are someone who is already responsible and finds yourself always tied up with so many commitments because, you know, your boss wants you to do more time. And you often say yes because, you know, we never see you out because you live at your workplace. Your family is going to be requiring so much more time out of you and friendships will require so much more time out of you. So here you are in a situation where you are being called this way, called that way and called in so many different directions. And I'm recording this video at the um, this today is the 22nd of December. And even though we haven't even fully gotten into 2022 yet, you could pay attention to your life and feel yourself being pulled in so many different directions. And, you know, for the year 2022, adding up and reducing to the number six and having so many twos in the year 2022, you know, this is a time for you to like ask yourself, how do you nurture yourself? And when I say nurturing, I'm not talking about getting your hair done, getting your nails done, um, or getting going to the barber. That is grooming and hygiene to me. Like nurturing yourself are things that basically, like if you didn't do it, no one would notice. But if you did do it, everyone would notice and everyone would benefit because you would rejuvenate yourself. You would energize yourself more. You will make yourself even basically more prepared to take on even more because you can't help yourself but to take on more. For the year 2021 was a five year and a five year with the number four person is like mixing oil and water. That means 2021 was a year of sudden and unexpected changes. And for the most part, you like stability and you like stability because as a foundation builder, things need to be stable and still in order to build those foundations. And, you know, some things may have fallen apart in 2021 because the foundation was weak. So because the foundation wasn't strong enough, you might find that moving into 2022, you're kind of working on certain things from scratch. 
And those things from scratch, don't worry about it. The support will be there where the community or people will show up and support you in whatever ways that you need that support. And when it comes to the other things that you've been working on for a long time, this could be a time where you um, get some kind of recognition or attention because there will be so many people looking at what it is that you are trying to do. So the year 2022, as a producer, the number six, I keep saying it, I know. And the number six talks about our home. So you might find yourself looking to buy a home for the um, this year, you know, or preparing how you can or remodeling your home or thinking about moving apartments or community or whatever. You know, those are some things that you might be con considering. But more than anything, I think it's important for you to create some kind of a to-do list for yourself so that the things that are most important gets done. Because if you don't do that, like I said, you will be called in so many different directions and spreading yourself thin in so many different directions. So it'll be it'll be a situation where it's like you have so much to do and you might have found that you got some done, but nothing really got done because most of the time you were looking at how you're pulled in so many different places. Because again, for this year, family is going to need you. Family is going to need you. So it is important to create better balance when it comes to your work and your home time and start spending more time with the ones you love. That's something that's important. Also to the sixth year is one that has to do with romance and relationships. So if you're in a relationship, you know, you're relate be that's your family. So you will find that you might need to spend more time with that in order to make it better or not just make it better, but to please everyone involved, you and the other person. And if you're single, this is an opportunity to meet someone new because of all the opportunities that will be present that will allow you to connect with so many different people that you normally wouldn't connect with. And maybe we're not connecting in a traditional sense like we normally do, but there will be opportunities to connect. So again, you know, self-care regimen, how are you nurturing yourself so you can make yourself so much better? And how are you managing your time and getting the most of your time when it comes to, you know, basically scheduling your time, scheduling your calendar and making time for, you know, the people in your life that really matters. All of that is super important for the year 2022 family, romance, responsibility, and getting together. Also too, I was getting ready to wrap up. The six year talks about basically material gain and material, like basically us finding success through material things. Even though you guys are pretty frugal, most of you, you know, be careful that you might find yourself overspending on things that you normally wouldn't spend on, things that don't really bring you much joy or excitement because you're someone who's frugal. But for whatever reason, you find yourself being called to um, make these purchases in order to prove something to like, say, for example, you find yourself, you know, going to uh, hanging out with people more. And because you're hanging out with people more, they're into a certain thing or whatnot. And even though I'm sure you're going to follow your own mind and do your own thing, but just know that because the year has to do with material and materialism, it's so easy for us to be like pulled into you know, doing things like that, that we normally wouldn't do. So be true to yourself, check in with yourself and ask yourself when it comes to certain things that you're doing or purchases that you're making, is this something that brings me joy? And is this something that I would normally purchase? And am I happy with this purchase? And, you know, think about it before you do it. And at the same time too, it's important to treat yourself because you guys tend to be so frugal that often you know, like I said, everybody else tends to benefit from your hard work and not so much you. So yeah, I know I just said two, two, um, d two different things in the sense that, you know, don't buy things that you don't need to please others, but at the same time, treat yourself, S buy something nice for yourself because you deserve it, because you're such a hard worker, because you're so dependable and reliable for everybody else. Do something nice for yourself and do it often. Make it a quarterly thing. Every three months, 
you know, buy yourself something nice, something really cool because you work so hard. So it's like, why just let your money sit in the bank and feel good that like, you know, you have security. Yes, it's good that you have security, but if you pass away tomorrow, like you never got a chance to enjoy any of your money. And when other people need help, they get to enjoy your money, live their best lives while you work hard so that they could live their best lives. Number four, if you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a green heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. So when it comes to the life path number five for the year 2022, so for life path number five, for the year 2022, it is important for you to basically like time, time and time management. It's going to feel like you do not have enough time like there is not enough time in the world and the reason for that is because you will find yourself being you know responsibility responsibilities when it comes to other people when it comes to different groups and family dynamics and settings and things like that you'll find that your family needs your help more than ever like you know normally you know, our families always need us. We got to help with this, help with that. But for whatever reason, for the year 2022, you will feel like basically to a certain extent for some of you might feel burdened with the responsibility of your community, of your family, of your home, of the ones that you love. And for some people, it could be that you find that you're always um, making, fixing, maintaining different things in your home, you know, or maybe say your family needs you to take on more responsibilities for whatever reason, where maybe before, like all you had to do was get up and get ready and go to work. But now you have to drop someone off before you go to work or give someone a ride or help with this or help with that. But you'll find yourself being called to help with this, help with that to where you feel like you're pretty much running yourself thin because you're expected to do so much. And then also to the burden of disappointing people because you're running around because you're running late so you know it's important to try to manage your time as much as you can and be comfortable with saying no you know if something is too much for you and you don't feel like you'll be able to get it done just say no because you know in the moment of saying no it's super uncomfortable but it's better to be uncomfortable in that moment saying no than to just like, you know, you go ahead with it and you're resentful because you've agreed to um, you've agreed to give someone a ride for a whole year. And it's like now, you know, on your way to work before that was your time to listen to your music and, you know, be in your own head and this and that where now you're sharing these um, sharing these rides and you can't listen to what you want to listen to anymore because maybe you used to listen to a certain kind of music that, you know, this person might not want to listen to and you want to be considerate and respectful or maybe the person is chatty and they want to have conversations and you really don't want to have conversations, but you have to. So be considerate when it comes to yourself and check in with yourself when it comes to the things that you're committing to because there's going to be a lot of opportunities to commit to a lot of things this year because it's a year of um, responsibility. It's a year of community. It's a year of commitment. You know, we all can bring different things to the table in our own way, in ways that celebrate who we are, in ways where we're coming from a happy place with it. You know, so don't, uh, don't force yourself to do something that isn't true to who you are. Also to the sixth year is one of relationships. So if you're someone that's single, you might find that this is an opportunity for a relationship. And when it comes to relationships with the number five, like fives are people that can be good with relationships, even though fives aren't known to be good with relationships. And again, that goes back to fives get bored very easily, like Sagittarius energy, fives like constant stimulation and 
basically once something becomes too predictable or too routine it feels like a prison so when it comes to the opportunity for new romance new relationships and friendships this year like i say go for it but i say go for it doing things in a way that you've never done so you know go for it in a way where you're checking in with yourself and asking yourself what are things that are non-negotiable when it comes to that ideal mate like a non-negotiable thing for you when it comes to an ideal mate might be someone who reads and someone who has their own thing going because this person reads and they have their own thing going they're not always up underneath you or waiting for you to call or waiting for you to come home so you don't feel like there's shackles around your feet because someone is always waiting for you or because they have their own thing going they're busy doing them but at the same time when you guys get together it's exciting because they read they can share the different things that they're learning because they're doing their own thing they can share the different experiences that they have so this is a situation where you feel completely free and they feel free to be themselves and you guys come and go as you like and come back together and have great times together you know so this is an opportunity for you to have those new friendships and relationships, but go into them knowing what is important to you and what do you need, you know? So basically that way you're not forcing yourself to be something that you're not because most of the times the reason I believe for the issues that we have is because we don't know ourselves or we don't take the time to question ourselves to see what is important to us and what do we need and what needs to be left behind. So, you know, you guys, when it comes to this year, go into every situation, like knowing what your truth is and what it is that you need. Like, for example, if you know time management is something that you struggle with, if some, if someone invites you to an event and asks you to bring something, don't be in charge of bringing anything that is important that is needed to get the party started right away in case if you're running a little bit late when you get there with what you get there with it doesn't stop anything everything isn't on hold and you're always in a moment where you're awkward or feel like you're ruining something because you were running late and because you didn't make it on time. So know yourself, know what's important to you and approach things that way. The year 2021 was a year of sudden and unexpected changes and that is your energy, that's what you're all about. But you might find that when you entered the year and with it end, and once it ended, basically you went in one way and it ended another so from that you might find that you are from scratch when it comes to certain things maybe career-wise something you're building from scratch you're starting over from the beginning but don't worry about that in the year 2022 this is an opportunity where you have other people willing to support you happily will happily support you so it is important to communicate share your truth let the community know what you need because they will be more than willing to help and give you what it is that you need to make things work for you because this is the kind of year that we are in. The year 2022 is also a very emotional year. So with it being an emotional year, you might find yourself to be a bit more emotional than normal so with that being said you know it is important to journal or speak your speak into like a recording and delete it or whatever or speak to someone get therapy get help because with emotions you know with too much emotions and being a five person who needs constant stimulation and constant change you can find yourself like you know feeling the need to escape reality in order to escape those emotions and you don't want to do that so instead this is a great opportunity to you know learn how to um express those express what it is that you're feeling be vulnerable with yourself when it comes to your emotions so basically you can resolve them instead of tucking them away and you know acting like they are not there number five if you're still here with me i would love to hear about it please let me know by dropping me a blue heart in the comment box below i would love to hear from you life path six and those are strongly associated with the number six energy so this is your year this is a six 
year energy. You are right within your element when it comes to this energy. So in a six year, you can find yourself like basically busy planning events or get togethers and connections because the year will allow it. Any of you sixes who are into say marketing or basically any business where you bring people together, managers and different things like that, like this year will provide a lot of opportunity. It's like basically you don't even have to do anything but be yourself this year because like I said, you will be in your element. The thing that I um that is important when it comes to this year though, when it comes to you being in your element, is the simple fact that um, you're great when it comes to mothering and nurturing other people because if you look at the number six energy, it looks pregnant. Like I've said in other videos, the six has been handing out stimulus checks before the stimulus was actually a thing. So yes, you're amazing when it comes to creating shelter and feeding and taking care of everyone. But at the same time, when it comes to you, you might find that other people don't appreciate you. And that's because, you know, basically, how do you appreciate yourself? So the year 2020, 2022 is an opportunity for you to basically reflect and ask yourself, how do you like to be nurtured? And when I say nurtured, not getting the hair done, not getting the nails done, yes, those things are important and they could be um, they could be way of us like nurturing ourselves to a certain extent, but I really look at those things as a form of hygiene and grooming. You know, what are ways that, how are ways that you take care of yourself? How do you take care of yourself? How do you rejuvenate yourself? How do you recharge? How do you get your energy up? Because when you benefit, everybody else benefits. So this is where it is important for you to constantly um, find ways to nurture and recharge yourself because this is a year where you can easily spread yourself thin with the need for always serving and giving. And also too, I, I find that like a lot of six or six people are so good at serving and giving, but they themselves have a hard time allowing other people to serve and give to them. So if you are one of those sixes, it's important to ask yourself, like, what's up with that? Like, why are you, you know, basically what's up with that? And to me, that comes from a, for me, that comes from a, um, a self-worth thing, like, worthiness like basically your worth will comes will come from serving and helping other people but at the same time you might not realize that you might have these thoughts that you're not good enough for other people to return that same favor and some people will reflect and say i i know i'm great i know i'm amazing but for those who have a hard time receiving you know why is that why do you have a hard time receiving and basically working on the ability to receive something simple as a compliment like you look nice you look beautiful you know if someone gives you a compliment Pay attention to your response to that compliment. Like, are you saying, oh, this old thing, you know how long I've had it? Or I only got it for a few dollars. Or like, do you downplay yourself after a compliment? Do you downplay, you know, basically your compliments? Because if you do, that's a clear sign of having a hard time receiving. Are you uncomfortable from, you know, getting compliments. So if you're someone who have a hard time receiving compliments, that's the same way how basically you could be blocking your blessings when it comes to anything else in your life, romance, relationships, anything, you know, just the compliment thing is a perfect example of how you receive energy. And like I mentioned, six people have, do not have a hard time when it comes to putting that energy out there. But a lot of sixes, when it comes to receiving the energy, now that is a different story. So the year 2022 is an emotional year. So with the year 2022 being such an emotional year, you might find yourself way more emotional than normal. And if you find yourself way more emotional than normal, you know, journaling, spending time in nature, 
grounding yourself. Basically, this is the time when you want to implement more of those self-care tips to make things, you know, basically to take good care of yourself. Because you know, like I've mentioned in other videos, the number six is a very hardworking energy, but tends to like whenever the six is, you know, having a hard time and just down, social media is not your friend. That's when you go on there and you see everything that everyone else is doing and all of a sudden forget about all the amazing things that you're doing, all the amazing things that you've done. So yeah, with the emotional side of this energy, it's important to check your temperature often and avoid things that basically deplete your energy, you know, when you feel like you're not enough or not doing enough. Also, too, with the number six being one that defines success based on um, materialism, you know, when I get the nice car, the mate, the house and things like that it's important for you to watch your spending this year. It's so easy for you to just basically buy things that you don't need, like retail therapy. It's something that you need to be careful for the year 2022. Retail therapy uh, from the need of like feeling better because of emotions. So pay attention to your emotions and don't allow them to get the best of you, but instead you get ahead of them and basically, like, you know, we all have those days when, you know, we wake up and we're in our feelings and things like that. And it's not, and, and basically it's about what we do with that energy. And, you know, like I said, journal it away, talk it away, go in nature and walk barefoot, you know, but do what it is that you have to do so that you can feel your best self. Because when you feel your best self, everybody benefits. It's like that saying, if mama ain't happy, nobody's happy. That's the energy with the number six. You know, if the number six isn't happy, no one is happy because the number six having to do with the third eye have the ability to project into a room and dominate the energy, whether most sixes are aware of it or not. And those who are aware of it, you know, if, when you're in a good place and you're in a good space, you're happy, everyone in the room is happy. And I think it's amazing to be able to like impact people's mood in a positive way. And if we have the ability to do that, then it's important for us to take care of ourselves all the time. It's like being a healer, like those who work with people, you know, and help people heal themselves or help people to see how to heal themselves. Cause I believe that the person heals themselves by basically coming to the realization that they can. So basically for those who work with people that way, it's important, like for myself, it is so important to keep my energy up. It's important to take care of myself and make sure my energy is always like, you know, not always, but try to make sure that I'm always in a good space whenever I'm working with people or even creating this because the energy goes out and people can feel it and they're affected by it. So it's important for us to make sure what we're putting out or the channel that we're filtering through, basically it's a clear one and what is coming out of us isn't um, contaminated with basically whatever it is that we were going through. But like I said, you know, meditation, I didn't say that, but like meditation, journaling, good music, praying, nature, whatever works for you, do whatever works and nurture yourself, take care of yourself. And the last thing, you know, how do you like, what makes you feel appreciated? It is very important to know this this year because, you know, energy should be equally exchanged. So while you're giving out and constantly giving, 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 it would be nice to allow others to give back to you. So this is where it's good to tell other people how they could give back to you so that the energy can beautifully exchange. Number six, if you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it please let me know by dropping me a white heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. So for the number seven, Life Path 7, when it comes to the year 2022. So the year 2022 adds up and reduces to the number six. And when it comes to the number six and the number seven, 
it is like mixing oil and water. Basically, those two energies tend to not be compatible at all for the simple fact that the number six energy is one that has to do with materialism, where the number seven is a spiritual number. You know, the number six energy is one that has to do with basically, you know, focusing attention on everything outside and around itself, where the number seven is one that is introspective. The number six is one that tends to be traditional. The number seven is one that tends to be rebellious and dive deep and wanting to find truth. So in a six year, you will find yourself feeling like a foreigner in a foreign place, a foreigner in a foreign place, because like basically when you look around, you know, if you haven't checked out the numerology video for the year 2022, check that out. But basically, you might look around and see situations where basically manipulation is happening like nobody's business. And even though you see it and understand it fully, basically, there is nothing you can do because everybody is drinking the Kool-Aid. And it is just a matter of you being aware. And if you choose to wake up out the matrix, you know, wake up out the matrix and do things in a way that speaks to you. But at the same time, don't overwhelm yourself or burden yourself because you're a foreigner in a foreign land and you don't speak the language because that is totally okay and totally fine. Because with the six year adding up and reducing to the number six and the year having to do with all twos 2022 basically you will see a lot of like manipulative and manipulative behavior a lot of coverted behavior whenever things are happening in our face it's easier to acknowledge that this is happening but when stuff are happening in a coverted way basically this is where a lot of people will question their sanity and because you're someone who naturally questions things anyways basically you know you'll be ahead of the game when it comes to recognizing what happens or what's happening where maybe years later everybody you know years later you know, we reflect back on this error in time and people will talk about the different things that were playing out when you'll be able to see those things playing out because you're able to pick up on stuff like that, not just because of your natural ability to research and find the truth, but also your discernment, your ability to just know. You know, with the year 2022, you know, the year is a year of family, community, and responsibility. You're going to find that you are invited to a lot of things. And you're going to find that you are invited to so many things where there are situations that you're going to have to just go along. Because again, when it comes to the year 2022, some of the manipulation and challenges that we'll face is that basically, you know, when you're dealing with a coverted, you know, or a narcissistic dynamic, it is one where things never make sense because the person who is trying to, you know, control everyone or control the dynamic for them it's all about power it's not about science or what makes sense or showing proof or whatnot it's a matter of saying everybody you know basically emotional manipulation and we'll see a lot of that in the year 2022 because the number two energy is one that is a very emotional number and at the same time too when manipulate when the number two has to do with manipulation it is always in a coverted way it is always in a way where a person is playing the victim. So basically, if you don't feel sorry for them, you're a bad person for not feeling sorry for them, even though whatever it is that they're doing is wrong. And whatever they're doing that's wrong, you know, most people won't even see it because they will be so distracted at the fact that they're sorry for this person. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, with the year 2022 being an emotional year, you know, this is one where people won't want to hear the truth because they'll be so stuck on their emotions where it's like, you know, like basically you might be wanting to point something out and they'll be like, well, you know, I understand that. But, you know, so many people was hurt because of this or basically just, you know, so focused on the emotions and the emotions and the majority, what the majority is doing 
and the emotions where people will be so blinded by it. And yeah, you'll be able to see it, but you know, it is what it is. I jumped around for a second where I was saying that, you know, with this being a year of community, you'll find that you are invited to a lot and a lot where normally you're probably good at coming up with some great excuse as to why you cannot go and you know you swerve your way out of certain things but there'll be a lot of things where you'll have to go for whatever reason and when you get together with the community or you get together with the collective just keep in mind that everybody is doing the best they can regardless of how it seems you know and keep in mind too that a lot of people are just afraid you know so because they're afraid false evidence is appearing real People tend to do a lot of stupid things they don't think because they are afraid. And everybody doesn't have it within them to question things and dive deep. Because again, fear, a lot of people are afraid that if they question something and it turns out that, you know, basically they're right, now what? What will I do? When for me, it's a matter of, okay, now that I'm aware of what's happening, I can move forward in a more strategic way. Where for some people, like they're, you know, it could terrify them so much to where they stop living. Like, say, for example, you know, um, you go to, uh, a psychic and a psychic told you that the 2020 pandemic was going to happen. For some people, they would stop living based on knowing that information, you know, like freaking out, like, oh my God, this is going to happen. Where for some people, they would be like, okay, in the case of a pandemic, what are things that normally happen? And they would pretty much continue living their life, but move things around in a way, be more strategic. So, if when that time comes, basically to a certain extent, it's not as hard as it had to be. You know what I mean? And if that time never comes, then basically the resources or whatever they prepared in the time, um, whatever they prepared basically is beneficial, you know? So, you know, everybody is different when it comes to like, you know, knowing because some people feel powerless. You know, and I feel like that's why some people are skeptical. They're skeptical because the truth is scary, you know, where it's easier to say, you know, um, let science prove it. Because basically science to me is proven what's already obvious. Well, I say not all science, but science itself is one that's constantly changing. So even when science makes something a fact, basically over time, that thing changes also. But to me, science um, is behind spirituality. Spirituality is ahead. Like we are ahead in the sense that all we have to do is check in with ourselves and ask ourselves questions um, and the answers will come out of us. The answers will come out of us and then science will turn around and confirm what we already know, you know, in that moment. So it's important for us to check ourselves, to trust ourselves and check ourselves often. Also, the year 2022 is an emotional year and also an opportunity for us to become better nurturers of ourselves. So number seven, what are some ways that you like to nurture yourself? How do you take care of yourself that rejuvenates you, that gives you energy, that makes you basically better for better to yourself each day? You know, this is a great time to find ways how to nurture yourself so that you could be basically be more used to yourself or you know, have more to offer and give to yourself because of your nurturing ability. Also to the year 2022 is one that has to do with relationships, relationships. And I've already mentioned family, community, responsibility. So, you know, you can expect to have more responsibility when it comes to your family, more being expected of you when it comes to your family. And this could be frustrating because this takes you away from your researching and also to relationships. This is a great opportunity to meet new people, even though you might not be in the business of meeting new people. But, you know, when it comes to meeting new people, like it's, it's, if, if you're single and you're meeting someone for the first time, 
what I like to say is be clear about your non-negotiables. Like what are things that you need in a person hands down? And a person might not need to be anything like you, but you might want a person to be as curious as you to a certain extent where you can bounce your ideas off of them. They don't have to be as deep down the rabbit hole as you are, but it would be nice for you to be able to have these deep conversations with them. Even though in the year 2022, it'll seem like everybody is in the clouds because again, it's a sixth year. And the number six is one that tends to focus more on superficial, you know, basically things that are tangible, things that are tangible, things that you can see, things that you can experience on a practical and a material level, like the family, the home, you know, um, the community and things like that, you know, the things that we own, you know, the things that we own that we find status through where basically you could care less about things like that. So in the media, you might see a lot of emphasis and attention being placed on having things, things that are so unnecessary. And you're looking around at your family members and friends like, are you guys really buying into this? Like, you know, this is so unnecessary. But again, with the energy of 2022, you could easily look like the bad guy because even though you are practically pointing out facts, the majority is doing something different. And, you know, people might try to shame you because you're not going along to get along. But you're so used to that because normally sevens tend to be the black sheep, the outcasts anyways, um, for the simple fact that you tend to stray away from the beaten path and kind of always wanting to know truth for yourself. It's like the example I've given before to me and all the stories in the Bible, when God spoke to people, they were always by themselves. So I'm, a, I'm guessing God was always talking to the number seven person. And more than likely, yes, because the number seven's research, when the number seven is searching, it's really searching for God. It's searching for the God within. And that is why the number seven introspectively naturally knows to go within. So in the year 2022, when everybody else is focusing outside of themselves, you know, this is a good time for you to go within. But at the same time, you don't want to be too dull and out of touch. When I say dull and out of touch in the sense that I could have moments as a seven where I am in the house and I just go to the grocery store back the park sunbathe and back and then I am by myself all the time in my head diving deep to where when I'm around people it's almost like I forget how to like be a human if that makes sense so that's what I that's why I say um you know, basically make it easier on yourself and socialize more because it could make you feel like, I don't know, like it, it could make you feel like you're just out of touch. I can't explain it. So to create balance for yourself, challenge yourself to build up your muscles and engage more and socialize more because this year is going to call for it. To me, bring, use that to come up out of your deep, you know, the deep rabbit hole and kind of like, you know, put your feet, ground your feet in the ground. Because even though, you know, basically, you know, we're, we're spiritual beings having a human experience, like we are basically in a physical, we're in a physical space. So basically you want to balance out with both so that we can, you know, have a better understanding of the people around us and their perspectives and why they feel the way that they do. Because the more we understand ourselves, the more we understand people, the more we genuinely understand ourselves, the more empathy we have for others. And we can see in people and understand certain things in people that we never normally would understand or probably wouldn't respect or whatever. But the more we're honest with ourselves and, you know, introspective with ourselves, the more we understand others, the less we judge others. So yeah, balance out yourself this year by going to some of the events that you're invited to. But at the same time, you know, basically you're not crazy when you look around and you see the manipulation and the thing with the manipulation that's a little bit to me that's worse is the fact that you won't 
things won't be happening with force. It would, it's going to be all manipulation in the sense that, you know, everybody is doing this. So those of you who ain't doing it, you're wrong. That's going to be the vibe. And you're going to sit down and be like, BS, I don't give a crap what everybody's doing because it's your nature anyways to do your own thing. So continue doing your own thing and, you know, basically do your own thing. But at the same time, connect with the community whenever you can, because it's all about balance and you can, and God isn't only just within and in nature, God is within others also, you know? So when you put yourself out there to connect with others, you also get an opportunity to look at God looking back at you. If you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a purple heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. So when it comes to the year 2022 for the life path number eight, the first thing that comes to mind is be careful of overspending. I say overspending because the number eight, like the number six, both has to do with the material realm and the year 2022 adds up and reduces to the number six and with the number six energy we tend to define success based off materialism you know whenever i get this car whenever i get this home whenever i get this partner it will mean that i have made it so for the number eight energy being such a hard working energy and one that you know is associated with the material realm the year 2022 is one where you will find yourself, you know, connecting a lot with others, friends, families, fr friends, family, relationships, and different things like that. And from all the connection, you can find yourself feeling the need to make investments into things that you possibly don't even really need. So, or, or not even just that, what came to mind is that with the number eight, being someone that is a hard worker who is always at work or always studying or learning something, you might find that you are invited to so many different events this year. And because you're not able to make the events, instead, you're basically buying gifts to make up for your absence. So this is where you can find yourself overspending or doing too much. And, you know, a lot of the times we define our worth based on what it is that we have to offer others. And with the number eight, like you tend to give the best, you know, and it's not necessarily because you want people to see you um, as a certain way where, you know, you're giving large amount because it reflects you. It is just your nature to give big. You know, this is an energy that is very blessed with abundance so it's naturally to it's natural to be abundant but be careful that you don't basically overdo it and give what it is that you don't have also to the year 2022 um with the year 2021 being a five year and having to do with sudden and unexpected changes you may find that um sudden and unexpected changes happen in your life in 2021 and the way you started the year is completely opposite from how the year ended. So you moved into 2022 and you're starting from scratch or having new beginnings when it comes to certain things in your life. You know, basically maybe something didn't work out and it had to come to an end and you're now starting something new. But the good thing about the year 2022 is the level of opportunities that will be presented to you. There will be support of the community and just other people around you to help you whenever you need that help and also too with the number eight energy as you've heard me mention in other videos you know the whole resting be facing the seriousness the serious look of the number eight it's important to pay attention to the thoughts that are in your head that causes your face to be so serious because the our facial expression is a reflection of our thoughts and i say that because this is a year where you will find that you are invited to a lot and i'm saying that because like it's just important not to be misunderstood because when it comes to your facial expression and how it may appear at times it doesn't it, it's not a reflection of who you really are you know what i mean because your face could look a lot more serious 
than you really are. So when it comes to situations where you're networking or you're just getting together, maybe you're invited to brunch or dinners or this or that, like basically, you know, you don't, basically it's, it's, it's good to become aware of it so people don't read you wrong because there will be a lot of opportunities to be invited places. And I guess I keep um, elaborating on it because it's so easy for someone to assume that you don't like them when in fact you're not even thinking about them. You're probably thinking about the homework assignment that's due or the paper that needs to be written or the fact that you should be home right now working on this thing for work. Like basically those are the things that tend to be on your mind. So it's easy for, you know, someone to misunderstand your face and think that it's directed towards them when it's really not. So, you know, this year you'll find yourself you know, in situations where there's a lot of group dynamics. And normally the number eight person is the one that tends to be in charge of the group and delegating. But, you know, you might find yourself moving up in your work situation where you are now in a position where you're overseeing others and you're in charge of other people. And when it comes to personal life situations, like I said, you might find that you're invited to a bunch of different situations, but because of your busy life, you are not able to make those things. So the sixth year has to do with the home. You might find that a lot of your money is going into your home. A lot of money is going into your family. Take some time to reflect on where your money is going and whether you agree with that or not, because it is so easy to like, because you're so busy, it is so easy to just spend and give everybody what they need and not really check to see if like, do they actually need it or do I support what it is that I'm actually paying for. Also to the sixth year having to do with like tangible and material things, you know, this is a year where, you know, if you're not in school, you might find yourself considering it. And it's something that I talk about all the time with the number eight energy that is always considering going back to school whenever things aren't going well. Like instead, you will have a lot of resources around you. Check into your situation, see if you really do need to go back to school because more than likely you probably don't. You know, like, because for me, careers like say being a lawyer, being a nurse, being a doctor, careers that requires the credential to get into it, those are, you know, those are important to go to school for. But a lot of the times we go to school for things that basically don't, doesn't, that's not necessary, you know? And also too, the sixth year is one that 2022 can be a very emotional year. So 2022 being such an emotional year, like you could be an emotional person, but you deal with your emotions different. It's not apparent where other people can see it. But at the same time, other people could be super emotional. And sometimes people easily misunderstand you for not caring because of the way how you deal with stuff. You know, maybe the way you talk or the way you might seem dry or distant or detach, you know, be aware of that and just be aware that like, you know, people could be so much more sensitive than normal. So challenge yourself to express how you're feeling so people know how you're feeling. So the people who matter to you know that you actually care. Also to the number six energy talks about relationships. You might, you could find yourself starting a new relationship this year if you are single. A thing to consider with the number eight energy when it comes to relationships is the number eight's tunnel vision. I mention it over and over in other videos because it is so important because to me, it could almost be like a Neptunian energy in the sense that like, it's like when it comes to a partner, you can see what it is that you want to see and not see what everybody else is seeing. So it could be situations where people are warning you, but you can't see what they're warning you of. So you tend to kind of, you know, have to learn the hard way. So when it comes to partners and things like that and starting new things pertaining to partners and friends and things like that, you know, when it comes to someone in your life who you really, really trust and you trust their opinion and you trust their intentions, when it comes to your life, you know, allow them to meet the people that you're interested in too, just to see if like you're overlooking something or missing something 
because of your amazing focus. You might be focusing on the potential and totally miss out the reality of the actual person or someone in your life who loves you, who want, who has your best interests at heart. They might notice something that you don't, you know? So also to that's something to consider. The last thing that I'm going to mention is nurturing. How are you nurturing yourself? And please don't tell me it is getting your hair done, nails done, or going to the barber shop. I consider those things to be like, you know, um, grooming, hygiene things, even though they can be nurturing for some people. But like, how are you filling your cup? How are you recharging? How are you gaining energy? How are you taking care of yourself and making yourself the better version of you for you? That's something to really consider when it comes to, you know, just period. That's something to consider. But moving into this year and going through this year, check in with yourself often and make sure you schedule time to nurture yourself. Make it a part of your daily to-do list because it's so easy for you to get distracted with productivity. You know what I'm saying? If you guys are still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a pink heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. So for the life path nine person and those strongly associated with the number nine. So the six year for you, the year 2022 adds up and reduced to the number six. And to me, it's almost like you would be, you're going to be like a kid in the candy store, a kid in the candy store for the simple fact that the number nine energy is one that I consider to be a bit of a socialite type of vibe. You know, you guys like to connect and socialize and have a good time with other people. So there will be plenty of opportunity for you to socialize, connect, and have a good time with other people. Because with this being a six year, it's about family, responsibility, community, love, romance. So basically all of those things are, are possible for you. But what I encourage you to do is basically be true to yourself. You know, like I've mentioned in other videos, imagine your true self, you know, you, you, your true self is your inner child. And every time you go somewhere, you hide it in the trunk, hide it in the closet and put on this whole vibe. And then once it's over, then you allow your real self to come out from hiding. So this year, as opportunities present itself where you are introduced to new groups of people and you're making connections, challenge yourself to be authentically you. Challenge yourself to be true, where instead of showing up and it's like, say, for example, you're friends with five, six different friend groups, instead of showing up and being one thing to this group and one thing to that group and one thing to that group like instead show up and be yourself this way you won't feel overwhelmed or feel the need to ditch or avoid any of the groups also to the year adds up and the year 2022 has a lot of twos in it so with that being said it is a very emotional and sensitive year for most and with it being an emotional and sensitive year you might find yourself overextending yourself trying to help and do too much challenge yourself to pace yourself and do what you can and leave behind what isn't necessary because with the year being an um, uh, an emotional year for most having all twos in it like the number nine is a humanitarian energy that naturally basically takes it upon itself to help people in whatever way that it can and some people could be very manipulative in the sense that they like to dwell in their sadness you know basically they find they find they find comfort in their sadness and in negativity, what I mean by that is some people like to complain about their problems and they truly do not want to fix them because without their problems, you know, to them, who are they? You know, with their problems, they get to be the center of attention where everybody, you know, fawn over them and, oh, let me help you and da 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 da, where without that, there's no reason for recognition and attention to some people. So be careful not to get caught up in the web of, you know, a situation like that 
or someone is just a an energy vampire. They are just searching for energy. They're not looking for a solution or anything. So be careful that you don't find yourself in situations where you overextend yourself or you're trying to help someone fix a problem that they're honestly not trying to fix. You know, I'm sure you can find you found yourself in other situations like that in the past. But in the year 2022, having to do with family, home, responsibility, community, love, all that, like basically the community will be at your doorstep always. So to me, it's an opportunity to show up and have a good time with the community. You don't have to serve the community, even though it is in your nature to serve the community. Just you being your authentic self and, you know, your non judgment authentic self is service for the most part. You know, so when it comes to the year 2022, I challenge yourself to nurture yourself. And when I say nurture yourself, I don't mean getting your hair done, going to the barbershop or getting your nails done. I consider those things as a form of basically hygiene and grooming. Basically, number nine, how are you nurturing yourself? How are you taking care of yourself? How are you rejuvenating your energy? How are you making yourself a better version of you for you? Like, how are you doing all those things for yourself? So this is a great opportunity to reflect on that. Also, too, with this being an emotional year, you might find that you yourself are emotional a lot. And this is an opportunity for you to get to the bottom of whatever unresolved emotions or things that you're dealing with that you're that you are unaware that you were dealing with before. Because basically those emotions will help you to, you know, basically healing. They will help with healing. So, you know, pay attention to your emotions, pay attention to the things that challenge you and just nurture the heck out of yourself. Nurture yourself, take care of yourself. And like I said, challenge yourself to show up to these get togethers and just be your complete self. You know, observe yourself going to the get together and getting ready to kind of morph into what other people need you to be and instead stand your ground and be yourself. Allow that inner child to, you know, not hide in the closet or in the trunk. Let it show up and just show out and be yourself. You know, yeah, you might feel a little uncomfortable from being yourself, but uh, force yourself to keep being uncomfortable until that feeling is no longer. Because the more you do this, you know, with this being a year of relationships, you might find someone that you really click with. And it might be a very successful relationship because you're showing up and being your authentic self. And you're, you're aware of what you're showing up as and what you're telling people to expect from you. You know, because a lot of the times we show up a certain way and allow people to have expectations that we are not able to consistently deliver. You know, so, you know, be yourself, challenge yourself to be yourself. Number nine, if you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a brown heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. So for the master number 11, when it comes to the year 2022, basically the year 2022 is a year of friendship, romance, community, responsibility. And this is a great opportunity for you to collaborate with others if that is something that you are interested in. But in order for you to first collaborate, you first need to make up your mind as far as what it is that you're going to do and what are you going to move forward on. And also to in order to collaborate, like you have to be super confident about what it is that you're going to do. And a way how to build up your confidence is by paying attention to your past when it comes to the things that you've created, the things that you've put your mind and your energy into. Because when we are create when we are collaborating on an artsy, like basically on an artistic level, you know, when we're dealing with art, different artists, sometimes, you know, each artist is kind of like within their own ego, you know, basically identified with themselves and their craft and things like that. So basically, it's not like when you're sharing your ideas with a friend, a family member, loved one or whatnot, who will validate you, you know, basically in the collaboration, this is where we have to validate ourselves and just trust what it is that we're putting forward and what we're coming together to build. And you guys are artistic 
geniuses. So whatever it is that you're coming forward with, trust me, it's amazing because with your abundance of magical and mastermind ideas, this is an opportunity to pick the one idea that embodies all your strengths and all the things that you have to offer and all the things that you love doing and basically work on it. This is a year to put your ideas in motion. It will support that. And the community will be there to support the things that you're interested. You know, there will be an opportunity to network because the year 2022 adds up and reduces to the number six. The number six is is all about, you know, connections, community, relationships, you know. And one thing with the number, master number 11, is that most 11s tend to be loners. So basically, you know, this is a year that's going to challenge you to come out of your shell, to come out of your comfort zone and just put yourself out there. And a we don't realize that basically like our challenges comes from overthinking things like us overthinking and thinking people are thinking things that people are not thinking because like i've said in other videos like you're thinking about what other people are thinking other people are thinking about themselves and if they're thinking about you it is they're thinking about you in relation to themselves so for the most part everybody's doing the same thing and worrying about themselves. So when it comes to putting yourself out there and then worrying about what other people will think or going to an event that you're invited to and worrying about what other people will think, you know, everybody's thinking about themselves. So don't forget that. I repeat that over and over again because it is important to remember the year 2020 the year 2022 is a year of responsibility, family and community. So you might find that you are called to help your family more than normal like sir like more responsibilities and expectations will be you know expected of you when it comes to your family dynamic when it comes to your home dynamic and basically you might find that sometimes you feel like you don't have enough time for yourself because of the responsibility of your family and your home but just know that basically there is enough time. It's just a matter of us being better when it comes to time management and just delegating our time well. Also to the year 2022 is a year where a year, an emotional year. So, you know, when it comes to emotions, other people will be more emotional than normal. And you might find that you yourself is more emotional than normal. So when it comes to your emotions, it's important for you to allow yourself to feel them because 11 people are already emotional people, but don't allow themselves to feel the emotions. So the emotions turn into anxiety. So, you know, with this possibly being an emotional year, this is where it is important for you to challenge yourself to like basically feel the emotions that you're feeling, journal about them, you know, speak about them in a recording, delete them or get therapy if that's something that you can afford to get. But this is a great year to get to the bottom of those feelings that hinder us, that get in the way, because, you know, to me, what's coming to mind is like Jupiter energy where luck and opportunity comes to us, you know, and through preparation. So a way how to prepare yourself this year is by being confident about whatever it is that you are into, whatever it is that you are creating, be confident about it. That is how you prepare yourself for this year through confidence, through believing in yourself. And the last thing that I will touch on is um the last, no, the two things. So one thing that I'll touch on is with this being a year of relationships, you know, if you're someone single, you might meet someone new. And one thing with the master a number 11 sometimes is that the number 11, like the number one can come off a bit self-absorbed where sometimes people in relationships with the number 11 or number one energy doesn't feel reciprocity like the energy is equally being exchanged even though the 11 or one person feels like they're giving the other person might not feel like they're receiving you know because the number 11 like the number one has to do with idea and mental so you know you might be in your head a lot about certain things and because you're in your head a lot about certain things even though you're with the person they might feel like you're not 
there, like you're not present. So with this being a year of relationships and the opportunity to, you know, have new relationships like it's important for us to challenge ourselves to be present to be present when it comes to our relationships when and to be present when it comes to ourselves and you know basically being present as much as we can and then the last thing that i wanted to touch on is nurturing this is a great year to become a better nurturer of yourself ask yourself how do you like to be nurtured and like i'm saying in the videos not getting your hair cut done or your nails done to me those are grooming and hygiene stuff like how do you take care of you how do you pour into you how do you rejuvenate you how do you re-energize you how do you make you the best version of you so you know you can do more of the things that you enjoy doing it's important to you know do a lot more of that this year so that you could basically you know be a better you be a funner you and i mentioned the loner thing and being invited to events and things like that make sure you show up because as long as you're confident in whatever it is that you're creating luck and opportunity will present itself to you master number 11 if you're still here with me i would love to hear about it please let me know by dropping me a orange and a red heart in the comment box below i would love to hear from you so when it comes to the year 2022 for the master builder number 22 basically you will find yourself busier than ever in the year 2022 naturally you're already a busy person who is focused on home and family and for some reason you are able to do both things um, as if it's the only thing that you're doing. But in the year 2022, the year 2022 adds up and reduces to the number six. The number six is about home, family, and community. For whatever reason, this year you will find that it's almost like your community, your home, your family, and community be, community could be your work community. It is almost as if it requires so much time and energy, it doesn't make sense. You might find yourself constantly putting out fires at home or at work and you know god forbid not literal fires but situations that it feels like it's like basically it's almost like there's no help there's no support or maybe it it's like everybody is depending on you everybody is expecting things of you and also too like and and don't get me wrong it's not going to be a bad year at all basically you have the power to wield your wheel your magic wand and make it the year that you want to make it but i say all that to say naturally you guys are busy people already so with this being a, a, a six year and home and family and community being emphasized like that saying that those things are going to require so much more of your attention when they already take up all of your time you know so when it comes to this year like yes you're going to find that you're invited to things often and you might not even want to hear that because even though you guys tend to be social and enjoy people like time is already something that it seems like you don't have enough time 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 for so <laughs> This is where it's important for you to, you know, be selective when it comes to the invitations that you get. You're going to get plenty of invitations and it is OK to be selective and it is OK to say no. Basically, it comes down to priorities. What is more important and also to time management, like I mentioned. When it comes to priorities, it's like, OK, you're invited to three different things of the three different things. Which one speaks to you the most as far as which one is going to be energizing? Which one is going to fill up your cup? Which one is going to leave you feeling so much better when it comes to yourself so that you can have more energy to put back into yourself, to put back into your family, put back into your life, because those are the things that are super important for you. In the year 2022, it is extremely important for you to learn how to ask for help. It's very important for you to learn to ask for help this year. So, you know, moving into 2022, like because this video is coming out, you know, probably a, I'm, today's the 22nd and I'm sharing it tomorrow. So basically, you know, the video is coming out before the 2020, 20, before the new year, sit down 
and ask yourself, how can you make more time for yourself? What are some of the things that you do that you can hand off to someone else? Like say, for example, your husband would pop will probably help you if you only ask for help or your family members or your coworkers or your friends would definitely help you if you ask for help. So sit down and think about like all the things that you're committed to within a day and think about like, you know, basically asking for help and allowing other people to feel special, to know that they're pouring into you the way you pour into them. I think reciprocity is extremely important for you to implement in the year 2022. Instead of always being the giver, allow other people to give back to you so that you can receive so that basically so that things could move smoothly like when i think about season cycle systems it's almost like because you uh, you only allow things to be one way it's like you obstruct cycles from flowing the right way because of your need to do everything. So this year, challenge yourself to allow other people to do for you so they can feel like they're giving back to you. Also, challenge yourself to like know what it is that you need to be nurtured. Allow other people to nurture you. Tell other people what it is that you need because 2022 can be an amazing year where the community comes together, we serve each other, we help each other, and everyone is able to have a great time and enjoy all the festivities because no one isn't just it, one person isn't burdened with all the work so they're missing out on the all out on all the fun while everybody is having fun. Everybody is taking part in the work so everybody get to work together and have fun together. And I think you could have that dynamic where your household or your workplace is one where everybody split the work and you know everybody could enjoy the good times also because one person isn't burdened down with all the work when it comes to nurturing it is important for you to you know quarterly or as often as possible nurture yourself like how do you nurture yourself and nurturing i'm not referencing getting your nails done or your hair done or going to the barber how are you nurturing yourself how are you taking care of yourself because when you pour into yourself your family benefits your career benefits so sit down and check yourself to see how you need to be nurtured and do way more of it so that this year you don't have to get burnt out you can be energized do all that needs to be done and have fun while you're doing it master builder number 22 if you are still here with me i would love to hear about it please let me know by dropping me a orange heart and a green heart in the comment box below i would love to hear from you so when it comes to the year 2022 for the master teacher number 33 you guys are in your element when it comes to this year the year adds up and reduce to the number six vibration so this is a year where you will find yourself busy 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 like a bee busy like a bee because you will be basically your calendar will be be filled there'll be a reason to like get dressed up very often and meet new people always you know so with this being that kind of year and you guys being the type of people who naturally take responsibility for others and wanting to take care of the community wanting to take care of others this is a great opportunity to allow other people to take care of you so when it comes to this year like it is important for you guys to be honest with yourself and check in with yourself and find out like how do you like to be appreciated like 2022 is a year to know how do you like to be appreciated and let that be known. Allow other people to appreciate you and allow other people to celebrate you. Allow energy to, you know, allow re reciprocity to happen because naturally you guys are givers and ones who want to take responsibility for others and take care. And this year is within your element in the sense that yes, there'll be plenty of reasons to get together, whether it's virtually or physically if the energies allow. So, you know, from that, you know, allow other people to serve you too, instead of you always being the one that is serving. The year 2022 brings opportunities for love, romance, and relationships. And if you're someone that is single, it could be a great opportunity to meet someone new and have a very successful, you know, relationship 
And the way how you do that is by being honest with yourself about like basically how like what are you what are non-negotiables for you when it comes to a partner and non-negotiables for you when it comes to a partner after getting to know yourself over time might be one where you need someone that has their own thing going on someone that has hobbies someone that has goals someone that likes to read and someone that likes to keep themselves busy because this way you know this person is always keeping themselves fresh so because they're always keeping themselves fresh they're always exciting to you and also too with you being a bit of a socialite or have the potential to be a socialite when you go out and you connect with new people and you have your adventures you guys could get back to get get together and you share the adventures within your day and they share the adventures within their day and basically the relationship relationship is always fresh and exciting. You never feel like there's shackles around your feet, like basically someone is trying to control you or hold you down or whatever, because that person is busy doing them just like you're busy doing you. And that person needs time for themselves, just like you need time for yourself. So it's an opportunity for relationships, friendships, and connections, but be true to yourself about what you need in those connections so that you can express that when getting to know someone so you never run into that situation where you feel like you're in prison and you need to get out so you know you self-sabotage you know and also to the year 2022 is one that you know has a lot of number two energies within it and the number two is a very sensitive and emotional energy so with the year being a sensitive and an emotional energy it's important for you to know how to manage your emotions the number three can be so brutally honest when it comes to telling their truth and expressing exactly how they feel to other people and even though your truth is important, it is important to express it with empathy and express it in a way where you consider yourself to be on the other side receiving it. You know, so basically, you know, if you can handle it, then you know the other person can handle it. And if you wouldn't take it personal, you know the other person wouldn't. But at the same time, you know, we only have control over what we say and not how it is perceived by others. And some truths just cannot be sugarcoated, you know, so speak your truth and allow yourself to be true to yourself. But like, just keep in mind with the emotional aspects of the year, you yourself could be very emotional too. So this is where you want to find healthy ways to channel your emotions. It could be through your creativity, through your art, you know, channel your emotions in a way that you can profit from them or make the most of them or just release them and let them go. But try not to like ignore your emotions where they're building up because this is where we can find ourselves in a lot of situations that are just destructive and not for our greatest good or anyone else in the mix. This year, you know, you'll find that your family needs you more and your home and your community needs you so much more. And you're someone who likes to be free and needs your freedom. So this is where, you know, you have to be honest about what responsibilities you can take on and what responsibilities you just can't. Like something that just come to mind is like, say you're invited to a party and everybody is told to bring something to the party. Instead, you know, of bringing, say, something very important that needs to be at the party right away, bring something that needs to be at the party, but there's no time restraint so that you can have time to show up when you show up and basically not have everybody on your back because you know because like you know everybody is waiting on you and you know you're running late or whatever because the master teacher number 33 tends to deal with procrastination a lot and from the procrastination you know basically tardiness can be an issue at times but when we are aware of how we operate and how we work, we can set situations up that works for us and works for everybody else in the process. So make sure you take care of yourself this year. Make sure you spend a lot of time nurturing yourself. And when I say nurture, I don't mean getting your hair cut, 
your nails done or going to the salon or whatever that's hygiene and and self-care you know nurture yourself what brings you joy what uplifts you what makes you a better you for you nurture yourself be clear about what you need to you know feel value and allow the people in your life to value you allow the people in your life to know you know what makes you feel good so they can give those things to you the same way how you like to pour into the ones you love if you're still here with me i would love to hear about it please let me know by dropping me a yellow and a white heart in the comment box below i would love to hear from you